I'm here to give you the four things that you need for fall to winter gardening in a cold climate or in any climate actually, because if it gets cool, you're gonna need these regardless of how cool it gets. So number one is going to be poly. Now this is poly, you get, it's called construction poly. It's not specific to greenhouses and you wanna get something nice and thick. If it is easily ripped, this is not you, what you want. You want something that can be stapled and pulled on without falling apart. Now the key here is you could make a greenhouse that is higher in nature and then have things like grow lights to garden later into the year. But if you're going to do something that's unheated with no light, you want something that's actually close to the ground to help preserve that heat and have less space to heat. I'm standing inside of the greenhouse with the door open and it is drastically warmer in here than it is outside. So Poly is an absolute must when it comes to winter gardening. The other thing that falls in the same category, and I kind of just call it the category of coverings you'll need, is things that help to keep in heat. So this is for those of you that are in particularly cold climates where it's gonna get very, very cold and you're not using any sort of supplemental heat. Things like old blankets are going to be really important. Have those on hand so you can throw those over during the night times when it gets very cold and take them off during the day to actually allow for photosynthesis to take place. Now. The next thing you're going to want to get is a min-max thermometer. I've talked about these in length before, but the important thing here is that it is an analog thermometer that uses the black hand to tell you what the current temperature is, and the blue and the red hands are what we call dead hands. So simply speaking, a dead hand means that it isn't moved until the black hand actually bumps it out of the way. This will actually tell you how cool your nights are getting and how hot your daytimes are getting. And this will help you determine if you should be removing the covers during the day because these enclosures can get very, very warm during the daytime hours, particularly when there is sun, because that poly is very good at taking in the heat, as well as how low your lows are getting and whether or not you need to supplement heat, you need more blankets, maybe you need to just run something as simple as a terracotta pot with a candle. All these things will work in that case, and the min-max thermometer is going to tell you when it's time to utilize those tricks. Next thing is definitely the hoop. Now, if you have an area that gets a lot of snow, you wanna make sure you have a hoop that is able to withstand the weight of that snow without bending. So these really thick half inch poly will work so long as you are knocking off the snow when it does come around. But something a little bit hardier if you don't intend to be around at all times when that snow will hit it and it may collapse. The other thing is the spacing of the hoops. So you want enough space in between that the poly is pulled tight or the blanket is pulled tight to avoid any slumping, which ultimately may break things like lettuce leaves um, or, or stems that may be inside of your outdoor winter or fall garden. The other option over poly and hoops is actually a cold frame. So this guy, he has a screen on top, but once it does get warm, I have these plastics that can go on. Um, this is a purchase version. You could make this very easily. Because of the air in the actual corrugated plastic it tends to hold heat a little bit better so you can get um, harvest a little bit later into the season the other benefit is that the snow pack will not break or somehow harm this because it is so sturdy so it's meant to have some weight bearing to it and the removal of snow is very simple it's just simply uh, throwing that back so that is an option there this last piece is completely optional but that would actually be a self watering bed. So this one here behind me is a self-watering bed. It's called Water Ups. And you fill it up through that black tube right there in the corner. And that simply allows uh, capillary action to take place, which ultimately keeps this bed watered. Now, obviously the benefit to this is you can put slightly warmer water into there. If you have hot water plumbed outdoors, such as what I do, and that will help you keep um, structures like this one here or this one here a little bit warmer later into the season also makes watering a little bit easier. Now I wouldn't stress about watering too too much only because as your days get shorter like right now it's about 4 30 sun is definitely already setting where I am 
as your days get shorter, your plants will cease to grow. They'll pretty much stop altogether in growth. And once this happens, we don't need as much water. And the actual purpose of the cold frames isn't for growth as much as it is for live storage, which means you can store things like lettuce or spinach longer into or later into the season than you would be able to do in a fridge. If you want active growth, active harvests that are continually regenerating, I suggest doing some indoor gardening. And I have videos coming out on that very, very soon where you can learn how to indoor garden herbs, lettuce, you name it, uh, and get great results with a minimal budget. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.